good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are discussing about cooling system actually after combustion you know the the engine temperature is going to be very high if this temperature is increase you know by each and every cycle the temperature is going to be increase so after some time the engine parts are going to be melt because of this high temperatures so we have to provide cooling to the engine so basically we have uh, you know air cooling and water cooled water cooling engine so if i use air as a coolant then i that engine can be called as air cooled engine if i use water as a coolant to cool the engine then that engine can be called as water cooled engine right so so that means if i want to provide uh, air cooling the engine should have less temperatures so less air temperatures means less power output so air cooling is employed for low power output engines example bike bike produces less power so by providing fins on the engine if i provide fins on the engine it will increase the surface area so that heat transfer increase and water cooled engine so water cooling is generally employed for high power output engines and um, you know examples are bus lorry tractor like that so pro by, by providing radiator to radiator to circulate the water to the engine so we have to circulate the water to the engine to take the heat from the engine so let us see the one example so this is one example of uh, you know water cooled engine this system belongs to water cooled engine and yeah this type of water cooling is called thermosiphon cooling system thermosiphon cooling system so this is the engine and after engine you know for example if it is engine cylinder cylinder arrangement inside the is a piston at the outside there is a water jacket sir there, there in which water is circulating so this is the radiator actually okay this is the engine sorry i'm sorry this is not radiator this is a water jacket this one this is the water jacket I, for the diagram i have mentioned it is on large shapes to understand so this is the engine where the piston reciprocate so in the jacket water is circulating the main uh, principle of this uh, thermosiphon cooling system is you know this thermosiphon cooling system works on the principle of making circulation of water due to density difference mm -hmm. here the statement you know you know making the circulation of water by increasing or decreasing the density that means by changing the density so after taking this you know after combustion this temperature this you know engine is at high temperature so that means this cylinder and the cylinder walls are also at high temperature so when the cylinder is at high temperature there is some cooling water is provided after the cylinder wall so that this wall is losing heat to the cooling water once the cooling water gaining heat its density reduce once the density reduces its move upward because of density something like a natural convection in heat transfer there is a natural convection because of uh, you know increment in temperature the density of the substance decrease so that it will come up once the density decreases it will move upward and the cooling water is move and occupy the space which is provided by the you know earlier uh, fluid particles after gaining this heat for example this is the particle i am considering after gaining heat this particle getting loose less weight that means density decrease once density decrease it will move so you know some space is provided here this space is occupied by the cooling water so that means there is a circulation is provided like that this hot water is sent to the radiator where cooling water is circulated this radiator is fixed to the engine in fixed to the vehicle which is at the you know entry that means at the beginning of the vehicle that means at the front uh, front side of the vehicle we can see this radiator in the radiator you know this hot water is coming from the top direction to bottom direction in the transverse direction in this the vehicle is moving in this direction so air travels into in this direction so that this air water is get cooled by air this hot air will go as it is and once the air you know air, in the air is moving in this direction water is coming down so because even there is no direct contact there is no direct contact between air and water but this air is at low temperature water is at high temperature this water losing heat to the air air getting temperature and it move up after losing its temperature that means after losing heat this water is at low temperature this low temperature water is again circulate to the engine so that means uh, the natural circulation here there is no pump is provided so that's why this uh, and that too, this thermosiphon cooling system is having some disadvantages let us see the disadvantage so the disadvantage is the circulation of water starts only after the engine has become hot enough to cause the thermosiphon action that means uh, 
you know the circulation starts when the engine gets started and then after starting after warm up and that means the cylinder gets temperature and then this heat is transferred to the cylinder you know engine you know this heat is transferred from the engine to the cooling water then only this action start that action is we called as thermosiphon action thermosiphon action so the you know that means uh, at the beginning of the starting that means at the start of engine if you start the engine right now you no know, this action start won't start immediately because if you want to start this action it has to get some temperature from the engine so for that it takes some time that means in the beginning of the engine starting period it it won't this thermosiphon cooling system won't work so that's why this completely eliminated and that too this system is not providing more cooling because circulation is natural circulation in the modern engines we place some pump here that pump will push the water with forcibly so that the water is circulating to the water jacket so that you will get a maximum amount of cooling that's why we are eliminate complete this uh, thermosiphon cooling system is completely eliminated and it, it has used in the olden days nowadays all are modernized um, cooling systems with the pumps and uh, thank you very much